everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing off Android 4.4 on the HTC One. The update has now came to the Sprint variant and should be coming out to other US carrier variants very soon. The unlocked variant already has 4.4, but I want to do a quick review of it, show some of the features off some of the changes. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, I want to show you that I am on 4.4.2 actually. Go to about. Uh, scroll down software information, you'll see Android version 4.4.2, HTC Sense version 5.5. So the 4.4 update has included HTC Sense 5.5. Now, uh, first thing I wanted to show is the lock screen actually. Uh, with the lock screen widgets, you'll see a little icon up here that will flash. It uh, is basically arrows that will go. Let me take a look right there, you see that? Which means you can swipe over. Um, the, you can also have widgets on the lock screens. What's interesting is that they decided not to have a camera option to go to the right. You can't swipe over to the left at all, which is interesting. So you can only go to the right here, where normally there would be a camera widget which would open up the camera, but uh, right now it's only widgets. So you'll see I have a calculator one right there. You can add certain ones if I wanted to add a calendar, Gmail, Google Now, Google Plus, and music widgets. So those are the widgets that we have available. Now also, of course, I wanted to go ahead and talk about Sense 5.5, which is going to be, which is interesting because uh, they've made some nice changes to the home launcher on the HTC One, uh, especially with Blink Feed. So Blink Feed is one of the main things that uh, they focused on. You can swipe over once more and it brings up this option. You can add RSS feeds now, Google Plus. You can change and edit what you want to show up, such as calendar, gallery, TV. Uh, you can really edit topics. Um, there's a bunch of different topics that you can have. Uh, you'll see you can go through and pick what, whatever you like, honestly. Other than that though, Blink Feed's pretty much the same. Just you got a nice little scrolling of your news, your basic news. You swipe up and let go to release to update it. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, overall, it does feel quicker now that it is on 4.4. It did include some speed improvements. Multitasking has been great. You'll see here's the multitasking screen where you can go ahead and swap uh, through a bunch of different apps. Quickly, it's it, you have to double tap the home button, of course, to get to this, but uh, it is quick, actually. Uh, multitasking does feel a little bit snappier, um, so it's, it's, it's been nice on 4.4.2. Also, with the home screen, you can pinch in, and that uh, minimizes it. I don't believe you could have done that before. When you pinch in, you'll also notice that it, you have an option to turn blink feed on and off. You can just turn blink feed off. One of the best uh, features, because some people don't like Blink Feed, you have the option. So now you'll see you just have a little animation there now when you try to go all the way to the left and the right. So you can turn Blink Feed on and off, just pinch in and turn it on and off, and it will go ahead and go back and forth. So it's a nice new feature that HTC implemented in 4.4 KitKat. Also, another couple of quick things is that uh, the gallery has a little visual change uh, with some, I guess, bigger images. Um, it doesn't look too much different, but they did update the gallery a little bit. The camera does feel like the shutter is a little bit quicker than it was before. Uh, you won't really be able to hear it. Uh, I have the shutter sound turn off, but I can go ahead and take a quick picture. It took one, and uh, of course you can still press and hold and it's gonna take a bunch of different pictures, but overall the shutter speed did feel a little bit quicker, not that it was slow in the first place anyways, it was still quick. You also notice that you do not in get the Google Experience Launcher on your device. You can go ahead and install it. I'll post a link in the description if you wanna get the launcher that's included with the Nexus 5 with KitKat. If you want to get that launcher, I'll post a link in the description if you want to try that one out on your HTC One. And finally, what I want to go ahead and point out was the settings. So inside the settings, you'll see there's an option to get content from another phone. I don't recall that. Basically, you can transfer data, text messages, etc. cetera, uh, from various phones, HTC, other Android phones, iPhones. And finally, with KitKat, you have the option of cloud printing. So you'll see a printing option, you have cloud print. But overall, that's all I did want to show. I, as I said, it does feel a little bit quicker, not much, um, but it does feel a little bit quicker, so that's nice. HTC's done a good job at pushing out Android 4.4 KitKat. Uh, the S, uh, the US variant of the S4 is still waiting on it, so HTC is ahead of Samsung there. Just wanted to mention that real quickly. But again, nice job uh, with the 4.4 update. Your device should be getting it soon. I'll post a link in the description where you can manually update, or if you're unlocked and rooted, want to install a custom ROM. I'll post a link uh, where you can get all that stuff in the description. So there you have it. Uh, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment. You can uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.